podcasting from the Brooklyn Bridge Park Pier number three. This is the Brooklyn Baritone Podcast. As usual, it's bright and early in the morning when I am cutting these productions and broadcasts. But whenever you decide to listen to these, morning, noon, nighttime, evening, it doesn't matter because I always appreciate the support, the likes, the looks, and I will always, as usual, support you hitting that subscribe and notification bell on my YouTube channel, Brooklyn Baritone. I like to always say that every day is a proper opportunity to learn something new. And it is if you have the proper mindset. doesn't matter what state you're in and where you are. It could be something about yourself. It could be something about the person right next to you. It could be something about the room that you're in. Or something that you've thought of in the past or happened in past experiences with you, yourself, or someone else. I'm going to go further to say that education is super important. Definitely in my younger years, my older years now. I like to say I'm a good product of good education. At the same time, I'm a good product of knowing to have better discernment. Discernment of how things really are and were is just as important. As a matter of fact, I would even say it's in higher regard and more important than just having education. <clears throat> because you have to look at education, yes, it forges you in how to function in this social construct, in this world that we have. At the same time, you have to look at it just as it is. It's a construct. It is man's institution. We have to realize that there are many things that um, are passed over in regular education, especially here in the Americas. Other places, they have different methods of teaching their children and youth so they have a better mindset and a more industrious and creative and uh, productive mindset than I have probably seen here in the States. Not knocking a lot of people here, a lot of brilliant people here. But things could definitely be way better. Because we have to also look at education as prepping you and programming you to go down a certain path. Because you have to now look at certain agendas if you're able to weed these things out. Of course, I always speak on personal experience and these experiences and things I've discerned on top of my education to connect more dots. As you would know of my channel, I always say I'm always going to talk about Elohim and his ways of how he guides all of us and makes everything, everything is order. But I know there's also the narrative out there that questions the book, the Bible the actual existence of God, of Israel, and all of those things that pertain to him. The thing about that is, the more I looked to peel back the layers and not, and stop questioning the book, I started to question these institutions of man. A lot of people are stuck on it and they trust the institutions of man, of where we're going forward. You know, it's about evolution and science, but when you know, really break down what science really is, science is just us making more sense of the world around us to our finite capabilities for this moment. Because there's so much things in this world that are here that we are basically toddlers in. We don't have the proper concept. We're using things still in the crudest form with radio transmission, <clears throat> still basically in a, in a crude form energy transmission all right we're not even up on wireless transfer of energy to the capacity where most people are aware of it and how to use it properly and the risks involved in it we are still operating in the crudest form of utilizing gasoline for our vehicles this is basically controlled explosions that are happening right in front of us people don't think about these things so going back with the education i've gotten and I very much thank my mother and my father for being able to provide much of that education. And, they, and I know to their abilities, they gave me the best they possibly could because they know proper education is definitely key to set someone on the right path. So this is not a knock on them or anybody else who has tried their best to give their child a proper education, a good solid footing. But with that education, you need proper discernment as well. So that being said, 
so much things that we learn and I have learned, such as Christopher Columbus being a great guy, which at this point most of us know he was not. I also learned in my youth about white man's burden. Yes, I learned about things like that and how basically it was such a plight of the Caucasians that were exploiting other peoples, mainly people of color, um, to progress themselves and keep them down. Other things I've learned that were hoaxes and frauds, as I learned in my later years in life about the P. King man and the Piltdown man, how those were major missing links to a major step in the evolutionary theory, which I learned later in life that those were hoaxes. And even, um, again, I talked about him in one podcast, I believe his name is George Heckel, or last name is Heckel or Haeckel, where he basically made a fraudulent diagram of all the embryos of all the species, just so he can erroneously point everything to being uh, a product of evolution. So when I start to peel back so many layers, the system of man seems easily set up to program you to move a certain way in falsehood. So I became less and less desired to want to just accept everything that's told to me and was taught to me. And then I started to question the book, the Bible, less and less later on in life. So many people, they, you know, are geared up, especially when they get to the age of college. And that's where it starts getting knocked down because I learned in anthropology. Um, it was a great, great teacher, too. Great professor, great content. But this is one of the major times when a lot of people step away from the book. But then we get so stuck and caught up in the ways of man, the systems of man. We've got to remember, systems of man, man, man is definitely always capable of doing things that are not desirable to his fellow man's or brother or sister's livelihood. Control and fear. This is what it boils down to. When you read certain things and you find out that they were lies or certain things don't make sense and you realize it was meant to breed fear and control, coerce people with false information and false intentions. So when I started to actually dig into history more and learn about actual history, and history is definitely the key for us to move forward probably because then you know the actual facts. You can separate the facts of what really happened, of why things happened. And when you realize of when, how, and, and, and why things happened, it's easier to make decisions going forward in the future, what to trust and what not to trust. And I started connecting the dots and peeling the layers back away from man's system that has been taught to us. And I started looking at the book and what Elohim was saying more and more is true. It started making more and more sense, but you have to do it yourself. Many people are that are at that crossroad and they're still there. I get it when you can understand that certain things that you've been taught to, you taught to you was a lie. You could have that anger. It's always okay to be angry, but it is not okay to stay there. What you do with that information, if you do it in a positive manner to impact yourself and others around you, then that is my friend discernment. When it's the point when we to stay angry, that's when we lead down the path of, of, of destruction. It's either discernment or destruction. I always say construction or destruction. So education is important, but discernment is key. That's all I want to say. I don't want to spend too much time here. You could always catch the rest of my content on my website, which is www.brooklynbaritone.com. You can always catch more of my content on my YouTube channel, Brooklyn Baritone. Make sure you subscribe. You can also find me on LinkedIn under Corey Ashley. I'm also found on Instagram and Facebook. You can definitely catch more of me on the audio podcast under Google Play, the Google Play Store, the Apple iTunes Play Store, and Amazon Music under Podcast. Thank you for joining me. I hope that I sparked some thought to you. And here's my phone ringing. Anyways, I'll catch you guys later. Walk good. Be blessed.